So I'd like to pass on a little information that I got about 40 years ago when I was flying gliders at a place called Hughes Hill, right next to Hughes Aircraft in Los Angeles, right near Los Angeles International Airport. I was talking to a flight engineer from there that gave me this little trick and it really improved the way my gliders fly. So this is a ridge rat that I built way back then and you can see the ailerons run the whole length of the wing. This does nothing. This area in front of the tail just creates turbulence and drag. So this plane was the same way so I shortened it up and that was made a huge difference in how it flied. Also boxing in this bottom edge um, does something to the wing vortice. I, I'm not too sure, but that made a difference too. Um, the other thing that makes a big difference is this. So having your servo set up like this with the bell crank straight across is incorrect because that way both ailerons move the same amount and you don't want that. You want to have a setup like this where it's V'd out. So this moves a further distance than this. This will make the outside turning move up more, or the inside I should say, and the other one down. This prevents adverse yaw and added drag. Just a couple little tricks that I learned from an old time guy about 40 years ago. Hope this helps some of you guys.